My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing this easy basil aioli fish with an almond crunch that you will fall in love with. And I'm pairing it today with this spectacular Italian gavi. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but let's just show you the few ingredients that are in this. Uh, we're going to make our basil aioli today just for a mayonnaise, a real simple, easy one. So mayonnaise, some fresh basil from the garden. We have lemon. We have some Dijon, some good quality Parmesan or Reggiano. We have some fresh garlic down there, some toasted almonds, sliced ones, slivered that is. And today I got some fresh sole. You could use whatever fish you want. We'll talk a little bit more about what fishes you could use. But let's get started on this easy basil aioli. Let's get started on this easy basil aioli. So we're going to do this one from mayonnaise. If you want to chef it up a notch and do your basil aioli from eggs and oil, please be my guest and go that route. I've done it both ways. This is just the quick and simple, easy way to do it. So we've got our mayonnaise in there and let's throw in our fresh. Basil is going in. Just toss everything in together. It's really, really, really simple. Our two glow cloves of garlic is going in. Now some fresh lemon juice and see, that is always why I do it in the palm of my hand. I did not want that seed going in there. Let's get that seed out. About a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice is going in, but all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center for you. And on with that is just a little bit of some Dijon mustard. Okay, it's that simple, it's that easy. Let's put the lid on and let's let her go. Okay, let's give her a taste. And I'm not adding salt at this point in time because we're adding Parmigiano Reggiano, which is extremely salty. And the salt is in the mayonnaise already. Mmm. You're gonna love this easy basil aioli. Let's get it in a bowl. Okay, now to our basil aioli, we're gonna add up that ground up Parmigiano Reggiano. We are going to mix that in. Wow, this is going to be fantastic. You are going to love this. Now you see the consistency perfect enough to spread, not too thick and not too runny. Let's grab the fish. Now in front of me, I have some Petrole Sol. You could use whatever you'd like to use though. But before I add that, let's add a little salt and pepper. You need some salt and pepper on these fillets. So we are going to definitely add salt and pepper. And you know, I came up with this recipe of uh, visiting my mother. I flew to the East Coast. You guys all know I'm a California boy. And uh, wanted to surprise her for her birthday. And I flew and we were home and I was like, what are we gonna eat, you know? We had some fresh basil in the garden she did. And I was like, let me make something around this fresh basil. So you just want to take that and you want to spread a thin layer of this right on top. You don't want to go too thick because it will just seep out the sides. Um, but that is okay because when it seeps out the sides, it is delicious. And if there's any of this left over, oh my goodness, this is wonderful in sandwiches and anything. So what you want to do if you're working with a thin fish like I am, I was working with flounder on the East Coast. Uh, you want to take it 
and you want to roll it because it easily gets overcooked thin fish in the oven. We're going to be baking this in the oven. So take a look at that. So we roll that into this beautiful thick roll. I'm going to finish up the rest of these and uh, we'll get it in a bowl and I'll tell you some other fish options for you. In an oven proof baking pan, uh, I added just the rest of the lemon, sliced it up with a little bit of cooking spray at the bottom, even though nothing is going to stick, especially if you're using glass, but even, even in a sheet pan. Uh, and that lemon is just going to add extra flavor to the fish. Now we're not done yet. We're going to paint the top of these fish. Let's finish up this fish. And as you can see, I already did the other two, but I want to show you what I did. I just painted a little bit more of the sauce right on top of my sole here. And once again, you could use any fish that you like. If it's thin like the sole or um, like trout, a lake fish would be good, you know, or even if it's a thicker cod. Uh, per se uh, and it's a thick piece of fish and you don't need to roll it you know and what I'm putting now is a little more of the Parmesan cheese on top oh yes everything is better with cheese right and the first time I did not I did not put these on I was missing a consistency crunch my mother loved it she was like I love this but for me I'm a perfectionist I'm like you know what? The fish just needed some sort of a consistency to them. Because with this way, it comes out very soft, delicious. The aioli is very forgiving in the oven, meaning that you could even overcook this fish and it will come out moist because of the aioli. But I just love this extra crunch from these slivered almonds that go right on top like that. The oven is set at 425 degrees and we are gonna put this in the oven approximately 15 minutes. It all depends on the thickness of your fish and of your roll. So as long as the fish flakes away very easily, you know it's done. Perfect time to talk about the wine while the fish is cooking in the oven. It's a Banvi Principessa Gavi. It's a Cortese grape from Italy. Cheers to that. Well, I'm getting very floral notes like pineapple and green apple with a little bit of honeysuckle I'm smelling. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, this is amazing. It's definitely bright, very dry with tastes of apricot and candied lemon comes through. This will definitely pair up perfectly, especially with that fresh basil and that light fish. You will definitely love this. It smells amazing in here. Let me grab the fish out. Oh, yes. Look at that nice little sizzle. Oh, 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 don't you want to dive right into that? Before I get to dig in, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, why not <laughs> hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because that notifies you that I have a new recipe and I have one every Tuesday guaranteed but I'm gonna put my wine down for this okay this I've had it already but I'm gonna dig right in Look how easily that flakes apart and so moist and tender. Big bite here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Easy. Delicious. You can pair this with anything you want. Rice, potatoes, vegetables. It's an easy pairing dish. 
Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.